Recently, a new removal company had started work on Thomas's branch line. They were in charge of moving pianos to other places around the island. The back controller had put signs in place so that when an engine comes near to where they pick up the pianos, they were not allowed to whistle. Percy and Toby understood this. However, Thomas didn't. I think it's silly. I shouldn't have to be quiet for someone who isn't doing as much work as I am. And anyways, what if I need to whistle in an emergency? Thomas, we all know that there's rarely an accident on that part of the line. And they're just doing their jobs, Thomas. Just like we are. Plus, if the fat controllers told us not to do it, we don't do it. Puh, you're both just being pathetic. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to take my next train. And Thomas puffed away. What's up with him? I'm not too sure, Percy. But he'll learn soon enough. Later that day, Thomas was pulling Annie and Clarabelle along his branch line. When he rounded the bend, he saw the removal van. This gave Thomas a cheeky idea. Thomas blew his whistle loudly. His whistle shocked the workers. They jolted the van backwards, causing the piano inside to land onto the tracks. Thomas saw the piano on the line and applied his brakes. Stopped just in time. The manager was very cross. What on earth were you doing? Those signs are there for a reason. I shall have to report this to the VAT controller. Thomas just looked at his buffers. He felt very embarrassed. That night, the fat controller spoke sternly to Thomas. You should have paid attention to those shines. I put them there so that this sort of thing wouldn't happen. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again, I promise. Good. I hope you've learnt that actions have consequences. As for your punishment, you will stay in the shed until I can trust you again. Yes, sir. And the fat controller walked away leaving Thomas with much to think about.